Roleplay Retcon does not own any part of the original versions of the movies that we retcon, nor are we associated in any way with the artists who made them. Also, while we do try to keep it PG, sometimes things get pretty PG-13, so monitor what your kids are listening to. Thanks. The soundtrack for this series features the band Challenger D. Please check them out wherever you get music online. Previously, on Roleplay Retcon does Super Mario Brothers, the movie. If you didn't think you weren't in some kind of weird alternate universe or something, you'd swear it was a taxi. All right, hey guys, uh, I'm Toad. Uh, how you doing? This is my girlfriend, Toadette. This city isn't what it used to be. It used to be a beautiful mushroom kingdom run by Princess Peach, but a long time ago, Bowser took over, and now it's Neo Bowser City. And me and the other princesses, we have been trying really hard to resist this horrible police state. Can't trust them lizards. We can trust some lizards, but not all. Yeah, so uh, humans are the strong minority here. If you're ever hurt or you feel like you need a boost, uh, eat one of these mushrooms, okay? As you as you exit into the sewer, you can hear Daisy distantly yell, Trust the fungus! I'm so sorry, Daisy. I'm so sorry. I couldn't protect you. Portia, the color drains out of your face when you realize that you think you know where they're being taken. Where are they being taken? They're being taken directly to Bowser's castle. Talk about Bowser. Is it, is it a castle? Yeah, yeah. Which Bowser resides? Yes. Well, we gotta get going. You can actually see it from here. Does it look like a castle? Uh, well, you, you look at it, and it definitely used to be like a like a sort of Buckingham Palace style um, place. Um, but now there's like there's all sorts of like modern skyscraper things like put on like stuck onto it and um and above it uh in searchlights is a gigantic airship um that looks like a like a like a cruise ship kind of it is raining now oh it started raining ah damn it P- Porsche Porsche did you bring an umbrella uh yeah I did And she pushes a button on her lapel and an invisible air umbrella that just kind of waves the water away from her head pops out. Wow. Now, now that is fancy. That's a uh, that's something. I don't believe I've seen that. Um, Mr. Voice, my head is hurting from uh, using my boots underground and hitting my head on the stalactites. I believe I'm going to eat myself a mushroom snack that was provided to me uh, chomp chomp okay you fully regain your help um and also what's your what's your strength rating my strength rating is a seven a- uh temporarily add well what's your dice pool 3d6 okay temporarily add 1d6 to that holy shit the next time you take damage take that away well, so we'll say um, you have one mushroom left and one fire flower. Very good. Very good. So what do you guys want to do? After I, that I, after that car. After that car. Um, it's, I, I did this earlier. Maybe it'll work again. I throw out my thumb. I throw out my thumb to hail a taxi. I met this real nice mushroom. His name was Toad. Uh, Portia, you actually know that you could just call Toad. Uh, if you wanted to, I'm going to call Toad. Okay, so yeah. there are no cell phones in Neo Bowser City, um, but there is a phone booth nearby. A phone booth? I haven't seen one of those since the 90s. 
what the the nineties the nineties the what the nineteen nineties the year the year of our Lord nineteen ninety probably uh, eight our Lord nineteen ninety nineteen ninety eight I think it was a long time ago. So you use this this phone booth. Uh, if anyone uh, that is an audience of this podcast and, uh, wants to imagine that they have the kooky like gun based uh, video phone a system, you can imagine that if you want. I'm not saying one way or another if that's what's happening. I, I, I am. Hey Porsche, why are you holding a gun up to that phone? That's very strange. This is just how they work. Like, the, the car phone in Toad's taxi picks up, and uh, it's actually Toadette on the video screen in front of you. And she says, oh, hey, Portia, hi. Um, hey. what's up? Toadette, we need a ride. Stat. She says, okay, um, it's just me. I haven't seen Toad in a couple of hours. D- has he called you? Is he in the bathroom? Ask her if she's in the bathroom. He... <laughs> Um, Mario wants to know if he's in the bathroom. Oh, oh, of course, that's the first place I checked for Toad. You know Toad and his, you know, problems. Oh, I do know Toad. Um, I do know. But he's always on the he's always on the stool. Am I right? <laughs> oh gosh. Um, hey, who's that with you? No. It, oh, is it those guys. Mario. This is my brother. This is my brother Mario. Oh, hey, it's me, Toadette. How you doing? We met earlier oh, in the car. Hello again. You guys are siblings. How funny. Apparently, know, it's that... very hilarious. Okay, okay, Toadette, you haven't seen him? Do you have his car? Yeah, I'll come pick you up. No problem. Okay. All right, thanks. Um, and a few minutes later, she pulls up next to you. And I guess you guys get in the car. Uh, I hold yeah, out my do. thumb. Yeah. And then I get in just, the car. Mario, it's okay. All you have to do is hop in. I, I mean, I know. I was just like, like a thumbs up. Oh. Good job. Yeah, thumbs up. Cool. Okay, yeah, get, get in the car. What are you waiting on? Okay, uh, get in the car. All right. Toadette, have you installed a seat belt yet? I still don't know what that is, Mario. I'm, I'm sorry. It's a belt that goes around you and holds you to the seat. Toadette, what do you mean you haven't seen Toad in, in a couple of hours? Well, well, longer than that, really. Basically, I... Is he at the store? Well, we did go into a store after we dropped you guys off, and I... Could... We went to different parts of the store, and I, I couldn't find him after that. You left without him? What store? Well, um, oh, jeez. <laughs> the... You didn't go into that subcon, did Koopa, you? Koopa Mart. Well, that's not a store. That's a shady corporation that gets... Koopa Mart. What do I know about Koopa Mart? This is my city. Uh, everything is called Koopa something, almost. Um, Koopa Mart's not like a weird, shady place. It's very public, actually. Uh, it's kind of big, so I guess... Are there vegetables? Um, no. It's actually a little hard it's to find because vegetables there's no these sunlight. days. I do remember in school that the, the, the sunlight was important for vegetables. Okay, um... It's okay, I... Are you worried? Are you worried, Toadette? I mean, I, I guess, but I think your thing is a little more pressing right now. I... I'm inclined to agree. We know where Luigi and, and Daisy are going. We do not know where Toad is. It would take us longer to find Toad's whereabouts and then rescue him. If he is even in trouble, we know where Daisy and Luigi are. They are in trouble. Let's go that way. All right, Toadette, step on it. We're going to the castle. Well, do you guys have a plan? How are you getting into the castle? We're going to knock on the front door and we're not get into knock the on castle. The front door. Mario, we're not going to knock on the front door. That was a joke. I was making uh, it with humor. Oh. I, <laughs> I apologize. The, so funny. No, but we're not doing that. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're going to follow that car and we're going to go into the garage with it. That car right there. Go, go, go. Okay. Um. You've actually, I think you've. You, you've lost the car at this point. You just had a good feeling where it was going. Um, So you you can't just, like, follow the car. That's how it works in the movies. Follow that car. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. Okay. <laughs> that doesn't make any goddamn sense, but we're going to do <laughs> well, I mean, it's fine. We can just go to the castle where we know where they're going. Okay. 
Okay, no, no, no. You're, you're following the car, and you're doing it surreptitiously, I suppose. Fly casual and all that. Yes, of course. Um. Okay, so, but you're a taxi, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. The car's gone. We go into the castle. No, no, no. We know how. I mean, like, no, no, no. I, I really want to know, are you really going to follow the car into the garage? Like, is that really going to happen? I don't expect they'll let us... I mean, if you want to have a fun scene here where you try to talk your way into the garage, I'm into it. <laughs> like, I just want to make sure that's what you're really going to do. It. Okay, fine. We're going to park just outside of the perimeter behind a bush, and we're going to sneak up to it. Daisy and Louisa, you have been roused at this point, and you are being hustled. Did you say? Did you say aroused? I just said roused. Thank you. Um, <laughs> and uh, you are being like hustled through a, uh, a, a sort of processing, like as if you're in a prison. Uh, at one point, some um, some people in like like hazmat suits, like like take uh, a little a little hose and like stick it down your pants and like like blow some very like cold something into your into your pants. Hey buddy, get what are you doing here? Uh and then both you and Daisy have some sort of blue liquid dumped on you. Oh my gosh, where are we Oh, what's going on? We're getting blued. Uh, <laughs> uh finally you and, and Daisy are put in on this like wall. <laughs> Um, both of you are handcuffed, and uh, on the other side of the wall are um, what look like a series of officers, and they are handling some sort of, like, long black rifle-shaped object. Oh my god, Daisy. Oh my god, Daisy, is this it? Oh I my god, I didn't think... Well, where's Mario? I didn't think this would be it. Oh my gosh. She... Closes her eyes and like grabs at your hand and just gives it a squeeze. Oh, thanks for the squeeze. Yeah, and then I'm uh I'm still worried though. The these uh laser sights like uh come and like like point at your forehead and then um you hear this like a, oh, a man say like aim? I'm, so sh- I'm so sorry for everything I did back at the orphanage. I'm so sorry I didn't mean it. Shoot! And all the little rifle objects, like, their barrels, like, pop out, and a bright flash happens, and, um, you're done. And they say, yeah, that's a good one. All right, bring in the next one. What the hell? What kind of crazy shit is this? Are you taking people's pictures with guns? And, uh, somewhere else, another, (laughs) yeah, another, uh... Uh, officer takes the printout of your picture and puts it on a, on a wall that says current inmates and you are put into a uh, there's you're brought into another room and there's stacks and stacks of like small cages they almost look like dog cages and you and Daisy are put into ones next to each other sort of in the middle of the stack um, and across from you you can see what looks to be like uh, casks of wine, um, like as if this used to be another like a wine cellar and not a dungeon like it is now. Keeping us down in a wine cellar. Um. So are there uh, are there other prisoners around too? Um. There are. There aren't just like a ton of people in here. Um. But there's there's a few other people. Um, you can see at least one human. A lot of them are uh, mushroom people, uh, and then some of them are the Koopas, the reptile people too. Uh, Daisy, you got any idea where we are? She says, "I I think we're um, I think we're in Bowser's castle. I mean, it used to be the the Mushroom Kingdom. It used to be." the princess's castle but uh i guess they i've never actually been in here 
What happens to everybody that's in here right now? Where what's the where do we go next? Are we just in here? Are they gonna eat us? Do the reptiles eat us? I saw this episode of Sightings one time where this lady she talked for like thirty minutes about how reptiles are coming in the backyard and eat her dogs and cats. I swear to God, if these reptilians try to kill me, oh boy, if they're gonna eat me, they're gonna choke. They're gonna need a plumber for what comes out. There is actually a Koopa in the um the cage above you. Um and he kind of leans down and goes, hey, come on, that's not cool. Like, I know Koopa's done some shady shit in the past, but, like, that's not fair. We're not all like that. Ah, Daisy, he's going to eat me. I'm not going to eat you. <laughs> <laughs> he's getting angry. And, and then da- Daisy goes, he's not He's not going to eat you. That's actually kind of offensive. I'm sorry. I meant no offense, but I'm keeping my fingers away from you. Uh... <laughs> He looks at Daisy and he says, why does he think I'm going to eat him? And she goes, he's a, uh, and she kind of from out of town. And he goes, oh, yeah, you're new? You've been a new person. No wonder you're in here. They don't like it. I mean, I'm an adult. I'm not exactly a baby. You guys have babies here? Or does everybody just pop out just full size? He, he like, he like looks at Daisy like, what is this guy's deal? And she's like, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's pretty indicative of my life. It, yeah. it, that's not even role playing right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you're a cool guy. <laughs> and he goes, "Listen, I I don't know either what's gonna happen to you. Uh, I uh, I've been in here a while. I think they put you in here when they when they don't want to deal with you no more. Uh, I uh, my name's Cooper. How you doing?" I, uh, hey, Koopa, it's uh, Luigi, um, and uh, this is Daisy. One thing you noticed when you were coming into this, the castle is that, um, uh, well, Daisy knows that it's constantly under construction. Um, there's always new things being added to it. Um, and Cooper explains that he was uh, he was one of the, the Thwomp Machine uh, operators, and he just rammed his, his Thwomp block into the wrong part of the castle, and that was all it took for him to be sent down here. Ah, oh, man, you guys don't have unions down here to protect you from that sort of thing? His eyes seem to sparkle, and he says, what's a union? Before you got out of the car, um, Toadette fished a little uh, cartridge out of her glove compartment. Yeah, you had told her about your uh, misadventure in the sewer, and she says, well, I, I have a spare. Here you go. Oh, well, I appreciate it very much, uh, Toadette. I got I to gotta jump. It's going to be a good time. Uh, Toadette, if you just stay here, we're going to go and get our sibling and his uh, Daisy. And then we'll be back, and we'll go find Toad. How about that? If you get into trouble, just honk the horn 15 times. That that way we'll know it's you. No more, no less. If we only hear 14, we're not going to come running. All right, let's do this. After you. All right, uh, hang back for just a second, Mario. I'm going to use my stealth abilities. Um, your, your stealth abilities? Is that anything like your umbrella? Kind of, yeah. Oh, that's very nice. Kind of. Yeah, thank you. I'm going to use my stealth abilities to um, scope out the place, moving without a trace. Use. I'm going to use both of those. I don't know how this game works. Am I? Yeah, I don't. Are you supposed to I roll for that? Or? I'm just going to do it. I declare, I declare stealth. I believe she'll get to roll uh, another a D6 added to their stealth skill, plus their um, uh, probably agility, if I had to bet. So uh, your agility, uh, D6s, plus whatever uh, stealth skill you got. 
let's just go ahead and put that at a two. Two plus two? Uh, yeah, two plus the one, so you'll be five D6s. Five D6s. Which is the maximum you can do anyway. Sweet. Who's running this game, huh? Uh, I am, apparently. Thirteen, I rolled a thirteen. Wow, those are some bad rolls. It doesn't sound like you're doing anything just, like, real risky, so I'll let a thirteen ride. The The garage is kind of, like, mostly open. You don't think you could get a car in there uh, stealthily, but you think if you kept low... You might be able to get because uh, in, into the garage because there's a lot of there's there's a lot of space in the garage but not a lot of people in there, and there's a lot of like stuff in there. Um, one thing you can see is sort of like uh, it, it's like an employee locker room, and you kind of figure that's where like maybe a lot of uniforms would be, and maybe some like equipment and stuff. So all right, perfect. Uh, I'm gonna go back. All right, Mario, I have the perfect plan, so... When Portia gets back, uh, Mario is is up on uh, the... the Mario is up on the bush, and he's got his hands like they're looking through binoculars, but there are Did you see no binoculars. some fun stuff, Mario? I saw a bird. A bird? I saw I saw a bird. Wow. Um, it was a nice Delicious. bird. Um, it didn't look like it eaten bird. Can't, can't be picky in the Bowser City of Mario. Who, 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 yeah, who am I who, talking who to? Who's talking right now? <laughs> anyway, it's, <laughs> it's the city. It, like like in Sex in the City, Neo Bowser <laughs> City is a character in our in our our uh, movie. Okay. Um. All right. A bird. Cool. Good job. So I I saw some cool stuff too. Uh, what did you What did you see? Uh, what kind Porsche? of birds did you see? <laughs> Was there a duck? No, but I did see that we can probably slip into the garage if we're real careful, Mario. Look at me. Look at me, Mario. Look at me. I'm I am I'm looking at you. We got to be real quiet. Okay? We got to be quiet. <laughs> now, um quiet is not exactly my Look, thing. I know that you can do it. I believe in you. And this is an excellent opportunity for you to practice more, right? Practice those skills. Yeah? I I will yes. try. I'm not saying I won't Perfect. try. Awesome. So here's the game plan. We're going to be very quiet. We're going to slip into the garage. We're going to hide behind s- some stuff. Some, you know, n- not get seen. Okay. And then there are some lockers. And I think, I think we can find some uniforms. We're going to put these on and we're going to blend in. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Better idea. Uh, because I don't want to put on some weird uniform. Why don't you put on a uniform and I will be your prisoner? Uh. And then you can escort me to the prison where they're probably holding my brother and Daisy. You know what? Fan fucking tastic idea. Let's do it. Let's go. But we got to be quiet first. We got to be quiet. Let's be real okay. quiet. But that also means approach. not talking, right? Right, Mario? Um, oh, I don't know why you're taking this sort of angle on this, but I will be quiet. You cannot, you cannot tell a person in a podcast not to talk. Like, you can't do that. Yes, I can. (laughs) I mean, I'm not telling Alex not to talk, but my character can totally tell another character to not run his yap when we're trying to be sneaky. I'm, I'm pretty sure you said that I was the oldest sibling, so maybe, um... I will listen to your uh, knowledge because this is your city. Thank you, Mario. I appreciate that. I appreciate your your wisdom. I'll be quiet as a mouse. All right, let's do it. Stealth. I roll stealth. I assume I will be rolling agility sans stealth, which I do not have. I'm gonna add a luck roll dice to that. <laughs> no. You you want to tell us what you had before that? No, because that would make it invalid. Oh. Well, that didn't help. Uh, that will be a ten total. Oh boy. Um, hey, Jen. Yes. Jensi, that's me. Do you want to let your thirteen ride, or do you want to re-roll? I rolled a nineteen. Can I just, like, donate some of my stealth 
Can I be extra sneaky for the both of us? You cannot. Hey, who's running this game? I am. Portia. Yes, sir. Y you you are very convincing. You are very convincing. Convincing but, um, at stealth? Um, but Mario, what... <laughs> What do you do as you fail the stealth check? I, I expect that as I'm sneaking, I'm going do 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 every time I take a step. Do 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 You do make it to the locker room, but you notice that like um one Koopa uh that might be a driver uh, kind of like notices you and like thinks it's maybe just like kind of winces his eyes a little bit and like he squints. and like he sort of walks starts walking towards the the locker room too just to check on what's going on. Um, he's not walking real fast or anything, so you probably got a couple minutes before he gets there. Ha have we noticed that he's noticed us? Yes, we have. You didn't feel that bad. Okay. Um, Wait, did he notice both of us or did he just notice Mario? Was I stealthy enough that he just noticed Mario? Well, since you were you weren't trying to be unseen, you were just trying to blend. Um, and so that's why he's just coming to check on what's going on. Um, and you've got a but he's like across the garage, so so you've got a couple minutes in this room before he. All gets right, here. awesome. So what I'm going to do is um, business as usual. I'm going to pretend like I'm just your regular old Joe Koopa, and walk up to a locker and open it. There is a uniform in here. Um, it would probably fit a human. You are not Joe Koopa. You will not fool anyone into thinking you are Joe Koopa. You'll have to just be Joe Human. Yes, regular um, old Joe Human working <laughs> at the Koopa plant. Remember that there's not a lot of humans, so you already sort of stick out. Um, also in this room is some equipment. Uh, particularly up against one wall, there are, like, some backpacks that look like they're different, um... Like, they're just, like, backpacks that are different tools. Like, one of them looks like it's, like, a welder backpack. Like, it's got a little welding gun that's attached to, um some sort of power source backpack there's like a power washer backpack like flood uh there's a vac yeah there's a there's a shh, there's a <laughs> there's a there's a vacuum backpack like professor um, egads shh shh shh, shh, shh. <laughs> we're being subtle this is all flavor i grab the backpack that looks like it belongs to a security officer there is not one of those this is not that kind of uh sorry it's not that kind of this is a this is a handyman's sort of uh garage oh no this is like what would it be in the garage the uniforms or garage uniforms aren't they well but there's like janitor uniforms in here too oh, okay um, cool janitor uniform so so Power much for washer, um, so much for the prisoner idea okay mario um you're doing great, buddy. And honestly, thank you for not talking. You did a good job with that. But that Koopa over there may have noticed us. So would you be cool with putting on a uniform? I tell you what, I'll put on this backpack here that looks like it is a washer and dryer. Okay, awesome. Thank you. I'm going to put on the one that looks like it's a welder's backpack. Okay, good. Um, do you want to Do you want to describe what your uniforms look like? I'll let you guys th make that little... Well, I don't think Mario put one on. Yeah, I did not put on a uniform, just the backpack. Well, what were you already wearing? I was already wearing my uh, standard uniform. It is a red jumper with blue sleeves, blue pockets, a blue collar, and a red hat. And I put on this jumper um, that is black... And it's got spikes on the shoulders. I was trying to force you to like pick a color for Portia, like how like Mario is wearing Luigi's it's purple. green. No, it's no, no, purple. no, no, no! I would have never, ever, ever expected you to say it's black. Portia's the black character. <laughs> yeah, I like it. 
Jensi, I'm perfectly fine if Porsche's like color scheme is is like yeah, black. Yeah, fine. That's, it's I'm black. Good. It's black. It's got spikes it's, on the shoulders. I love. Man, I just love Mario and Luigi's like ni- polite, nice goth sister. <laughs> <laughs> Positive goth she's, sister. She's, Positively she goth. She zips it up. It fits really nice and snug. And she's like, ooh, this is nice. I'm just going to have to keep this one. I will let you be black and purple. Okay, perfect. Black and purple. It's got purple accents. Purple stitching. That's, that's, that's stealing like Wario's deal a little bit, but yeah. whatever. You, Wario can't own purple. But Wario's purple and yellow. It's completely different. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's true. It, his main thing is yellow, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Anyway. Um, so yeah, you do good. Um, this uh, Koopa comes in here, um, and he goes like, "Oh, hey, um, you guys good? Uh, of course we're good. Why wouldn't we be good? We're just suiting up for our job." He here goes, he goes, the you guys were castle. just, you guys were just uh, walking kind of weird. Oh, were you, were you late? Uh, of course we're please late. Please don't tell we're anyone. Late. Please don't tell anyone. I need this job no, 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 so no, no, much. No, you know I'm already an outsider. They they already don't even want to hire my kind here. Please don't fire us. No, 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 no. He's like, it's, it's cool. It's cool. Oh I'm my god, anyone. thank okay. you so much. I just much. wanted to do my due diligence and come check on things. But if you're good, you better go. Yeah, you better go. We're gonna hustle. In. Thank you. Thank you again. What was your name? Uh, my name is Colorado. Thank nice you, to meet Colorado. You. I'm. Thank you, Jesse. Colorado. Nice to meet you. And, and I'm James. Um. <laughs> Uh, here we are blasting off uh, once again. <laughs> Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Colorado. Let's hustle, James. We'll see you in the Grand Canyon. You can kind of, you, you can see the door that leads into what you assume is the castle proper. And I assume you go through it for the sake of time. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to check it for traps. Oh, good idea. There's no. Why this, would there be this traps? This is a joke. I made another funny. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there's no. There's no traps. I would like to roll um, a. <laughs> I would like to roll perception? a perception check on the door, please. Perception check. <laughs> you walk into this room and it's like it's kind of like the main lobby of this tower. Um, it seems to be pretty much all new. Uh, like it wasn't part of the old castle. Um, this front lobby is also kind of like a bizarre museum um particularly there's a lot of like glass display cases with um with skeletons of different reptilian creatures probably most of them are are like koopa skeletons (laughs) um this is very strange what these people do here yeah it is Porsche, you you know that this is weird, even for Neo it Bowser is weird, City. Even for Neo Bowser City. Um, there's no one else in this room, though. You actually, surprisingly, the the lobby does not really have much in the way of security. Um, there are a set of double doors up uh at the end of this room. Now we don't want to go through those. Double doors always lead outside. Well, that's there's other double doors that go outside. There's two double doors. It's a really thin castle. You know what? We'll say there's a there's an there's an elevator. How many doors are on the elevator? Well, it's one, but it's it's like two doors wide. Oh, that's a tricky one. Hmm. Should we go through that door, Mario? If my um architectural planning classes ever stayed in my brain for for regular castles, I believe they would hold people in dungeons. Located in a basement type area. Down, we should go down. Of course, perfect. Down would be a good a, a direction to go. Is there a button? Uh, yeah. How many buttons are there? Um, I mean, there, there's there's tons, but like, on the, there's definitely on the outside, outside of the yeah. of the, of the, of the elevator. Oh, mm-hmm. we're on the inside. Oh no, no, you you can go up or down. Oh, we would definitely want to hit the down button. The down button, yes. Down button. We press the down button. Down button. Down button. <laughs> uh, the the door is open, um, and it's a very large elevator, which is cool. This is good. Um, uh, unfortunately, there's not much space in the elevator because it is uh, filled almost entirely with Goombas. Oh, um, hey, fellas. Give me a 
break. Give me a break. This is not the candy company song. It's the break. Hey, it's Ben. It's just Ben. It's not the other two people. It's just Ben. Um, this is the break where we do a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, first, I want to thank Challenger Deep for letting us use their music as the soundtrack for the series. They are from Atlanta. Uh, I have really become a fan of them as I've been making this. They apparently put on a very good live show, so if you ever have an opportunity to do that, uh, I recommend it. Also, props to uh, guitarist Chris Holland, who does uh, a cool cover of a Mario song at the end of this episode. I want to thank Russ Morrissey and Mike Myler for making Woin. Uh, we have been attributing this a little bit wrong. Um, I made this mistake because Mike Myler made the now materials that we're using chiefly for um, Mar for this series, but Russ Morrissey made the original What's Old is New. But, uh, Mike Myler has uh, dropped into our Discord recently and given us a few gold stars for how we're doing, so that felt pretty good. Um, I want to thank some people for talking about the show. Uh, first of all, Aaron Hansen. Yes, that Aaron Hansen. Um, he did a stream a few days ago for United Way, and Alex made a donation in Roleplay Retcon's name, and Aaron Hansen just shouted us out for like a whole minute. It was really great. So that was cool. Um, thank you to Big Meeting Podcast. Um, kind of discovered them a little while back, and... The kind of the same time they discovered us. And uh, I I personally, me, Ben, have been listening to this podcast, and I really like it. Um, the general premise is they have meetings with real industry people, and uh, they pitch them their, like, really wacky ideas for movies, their, their, their pitches for movies, and it's so good. It's made me laugh out loud several times. It's got that good good dry british humor that you know i just you just want to inject into your veins it's so good i i highly recommend them um thank you to at steven mister at it's like stephen mister it's it's like steven mister with no vowels it's i don't know who they are they're kind of a mysterious figure on twitter but they do talk about us a lot so thank you um thank you to geek exploration the podcast uh Thank you to SMB Archive for signal boosting us. I thought they might have been angry at us for re remaking their favorite movie in the whole, whole wide world, but they've been retreating us a lot, so I think we're cool. I think we're cool. Um, and, you know, just like always, thank you to Fran Sweeney, the Land Above podcast, and thank you to Cam from Chaotic Goodness podcast. Both those podcasts are part of the Nerdsmith Network. You've probably heard us talk about them a few times. Um, we've always been, you know, friendly with the Nerdsmith Network, sort of unofficial friends on the Nerdsmith Network. But now we are officially friends of the Nerdsmith Network. We are in a, a tier of membership that is called Friends of the Network. Um, so if you've come here because you've heard about us on another show on the network, uh, welcome. I'm so glad I'm, we're in your orbit now. Um, and I recommend you check out any of the cool shows on the Nerdsmith Network. Uh, my sister Mona did some art for Moonpunk which is a cool RPG by um, Wannabe Games, which are old friends of the show. Um, you can find that at uh, drivethroughrpg.com. Man, it'd also be really cool if you checked out mine and Mona's uh, webcomic, Dan the Snowman, at danthesnowman.com. It's very good, if I do say so myself. Like I talked about earlier, we've got a Discord. Uh, I'll put the link to that in the show notes if you want to get in on that, too. It's a lot of fun in there. Um, we also have a Patreon um, I won't talk too, too much about that since this has been kind of a long break. It's mostly how we make money for the show. We haven't really searched around for, uh, sponsorships in a while. Um, but if you'd like to get a sponsorship on this show, um, just hit us up, send us an email at friends at and we'll talk about it. This is kind of a weird place for the break to be. I know it's like near the end of the episode. Uh, this is also kind of a short episode. The next one will be two because we had a really long session and I just wanted to cut it to two to two episodes instead. Um, and we're really far ahead. So the, the next session, I do the same thing. So the next few episodes are going to be like lunch size portions of role play rec on. Um, but maybe that'll be fun. We'll see how that goes. I still, it's there. It's good stuff. It, it was, I, I had so much good stuff. I didn't, I wanted to 
I had to break it up a little bit. Just think of it that way, and we'll all be on the same page. Uh, next episode is April 29th, um, and I think that's all I've got. If Alex were here, he would say bye kisses. So you see, Cooper, although the political structure and autonomies vary widely, union leaderships are usually <laughs> formed through democratic elections. Some research, such as that conducted by the Australian Center for Industrial Relations Research and Training, argues that union workers enjoy better conditions and wages than those who are not unionized. So I'd say... I believe someone found the Wikipedia. Some, some would say, if you're in a position, you got to break the mold and start a union. Um, both Daisy and Cooper, uh, are enraptured by you. Um, both of their eyes are, like, sparkling as they listen to you talk about this, like, so passionately and knowledgeably. Speaking of breaking the mold, mold, mold. Hey, Daisy, didn't you say something about, about trusting the fungus? Oh, yeah. Um, I guess they didn't. And she, like, she pulls out some of the plants out of her, like, little satchel around her, her waist, and she says, like, yeah, I guess they didn't figure these were anything important, so we still have our fire flowers and our mushrooms. Oh, yeah. They didn't search me completely. I still got some spaces where I keep things. Yeah, they actually took away your, like, plumber's tools and stuff, and, like, you still have this stuff, though. Does it fall out of my mustache? Your stash falls out of your stash. Like, these people have obviously never even heard of this idea of, like, being able to, like, band together and, like, that they have, like, rights as, like, a that and, and that they're the bigger group that the people on the bottom have, can, like, have rights and can band together and insist that they have them. Yeah, people have been doing it for a long time. Sure. Um... So what do you want to do? It sounds like you're you're concocting a plan here, Luigi. I still got the the mushrooms. Um, how are we locked in these boxes? Are, are there locks on the outside? Big padlocks? Is it... Yeah, yeah. Kind of, kind of imagine like a dog crate. Kind of. Like, like I know I could just... easily get out of a dog crate if I was in one. They're maybe a little stronger than a dog crate, but the cages aren't that great. Like, yeah, there. It's just like the front of your cage is like a door with a latch on it. They're they're a lot like the ones in the movie. Just to like, <laughs> I I liked that. I thought that uh, that was one of the more iconic parts of the movie with the the like weird one like fluorescent bulb like hanging down in the middle of it. Um, I uh, so uh, I have a power uh, or uh, exploit called Trespasser, and I can add one d six to bypass locks. Can I try and jiggle one of these locks open? Um, yeah, um. As you do this, so Daisy tells you, like, hey, um, if you're just going to try to brute force that thing, you might want to take one of your mushrooms. It'll make you stronger. Ah, uh, you eat these things? Mushrooms? See, she's like, <laughs> are you telling me, are, are you telling me that Luigi does not eat mushrooms? You know, Luigi, up till now, has never eaten mushrooms. I don't know. I never had one. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll take a, a bite of the mushroom. Uh, and I'm wondering, like, I did, did they take my health to zero last time or did they just knock me out? Um, they took your health to zero, but you, I just wasn't making you do like death rolls. Um, so we'll say like you do that thing in some RPGs, you know, like, uh, when you woke up, you had like one HP. Um, but the mushroom, uh, heals you to full. And you have a 1d6 uh, added to your strength temporarily until you take damage. So so you're saying you're by, it lets you add 1d6 to bypassing locks? Okay, cool. So you can just add 1d6 to whatever oh, attribute is I make yeah, you do, right? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm going to interpret it that way. So add one to, so you don't have tools right now, so you can't like pick the lock, but I feel like you would know where a lock's weaknesses were and would be able to like know where to kick it or, or jiggle it or whatever. So make this a strength check, but add your, that skills extra D6s to that strength check. Kick it! I finally did some good jamming. It was bound to happen. I roll a 12. A completely average roll. Uh, you you kick... Oh, okay, what do you do? What do you do to try to uh, do Yeah, this? I just grab it in my hand and just give it a tug on the, uh, on the, on the lock. Okay. Um, it, it kind of, like, jiggles a little bit, like it's about to come loose, and, um, Daisy says, like, do it again! Do it again! Roll again for me. It's gonna be even worse this time. I can feel it. Oh! <laughs> At 11... Daisy does say whoops a daisy out loud and then she goes, I think if you did it one more time, you'd have it. She and, da- and Daisy says, it's just not interesting if in an RPG you roll to get out of a cage and you don't get out of the cage, so I think you should do it this one more time. the beginning time. of every campaign I've ever played has been a jailbreak. I rolled a 14! A little bit stronger. That does it. That does it. Uh, and you finally, you the cage uh, breaks open. Unfortunately, right as you do this, oh, an alarm sounds. Daisy, why did you tell me to do this? Boo. And, Boo. She, and she goes, we'll be fine. Boo. Come on. I just... Boo. This alarm Boo. sounds very boring. Boy, Boo. it's lulling me into a sense <laughs> of everything is okay. Boo. And it's not that urgent. Boo. <laughs> anyway. Boo. Boo. Jesus. I can't Boo. concentrate. Beer. Okay. Is there a frog um, in here? Uh, Luigi, you can see, though, on, that you could probably undo a cage from the outside just by, like, twisting a knob. I'm going to do it. I'm going to twist all the knobs. Everybody grab a knob. Okay. Um, so you let out who? Uh, who do you I let, let out? out? Daisy first. Daisy first. Okay. Um, And then can we uh, do Cooper next, since he was nice enough to int- Coop? Yeah, Coop. Uh, yeah, Cooper's out. Um, you are kind of letting time get away from you, though. Uh, there are. He's got to open all yeah, the pages. Yeah, this is a, a jailbreak. Is that yeah, what you're doing? Out of here. Yeah, open. Uh, I open at least three more cages, and hope that the other two do the same. Do you? Okay. Do you tell yes. them to do the same? Please open these. Free these people. So you actually do this very quickly because as people open cages other people do and they're like clambering the koopas particularly are very good at this they can clamber around these the front of these like chain link cages very well um (laughs) and uh they thanks i'm so glad people are getting my my like subtle slash not do any of them flip around to the Um, other side um, no, but if you punched one, they might. No, I'm just. <laughs> Cooper, come here. I gotta try something uh, real quick. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, don't. Yeah. At one point, you uh, Cooper is like climbing up, and you're climbing down, and your like butt hits him on the head. And he's like, "Oh no!" And he like he like lets go and falls to the ground. Oh my. And he's like, "Yeah, you gotta be careful. You can't hit us on the head like that." <laughs> Sorry, guy. That's why we all wear Sorry, these hot hats. <laughs> um. So yeah, um, all the people are are free now, and there's I'm gonna say there's about ten of you now, um, and uh, you can exit this wine cellar slash dungeon. Yeah, everybody, follow me. We're getting out of here. We're busting out of this joint. Somewhere else. The warehouse that houses the phantom mannequins that Mario and Luigi escaped from when they first came to Neo Bowser City is quiet. The mannequins stand vigilant on their plinths, except for the one that Mario defeated with his hammer. It still lays lifeless in the middle of the warehouse floor, its cracked mask lying beside it. 
It is dark except for the faint light of the city wafting through the window. In the window, a pinprick of light pierces through the dark sky and shines down on the Fanto, almost like it's intentional. Then the twinkle in the sky disappears, and the Fanto stands up and examines its body. But it doesn't have the creepy robotic movements of its counterparts. It has personality, intelligence. And then, in the voice of Alan Tudyk, it speaks to itself. Whoa, this thing's full of weapons. <sighs> now I need a name. They look down at they the look- Subcon logo on their chest. Hmm, no. Then they look at the Fanto model name. Nah. They notice something on the floor. It's a wallet. They pick it up and thumb through it, examining Luigi's driver's license and credit cards. They say the name out loud. Luigi. Not quite, though. They pull a white card out. Flip it over. Read a couple of times. Yeah, that's good. I like that. And in their hand, they hold a stamp card that's halfway to earning a free foot-long Italian sub at Gino's Pizza in the Bronx. Mm.